Hi, this is Mark News from Plant Talk Radio. Thanks for subscribing and listening to our podcast, Your Gardening Questions from Plant Talk Radio. If you have a gardening question you'd like our host Fred Howard to answer, send him an email. The email address is fred at planttalkradio.com. Now for today's question. Had another email question we wanted okay. to take. Again, you can always email Fred. It's fred at planttalkradio.com. And uh, this is from John, who is in Wauseon. He says he has a white dogwood tree that has not come into bud yet. Mm-hmm. He says the tree is green on the outside, and he's saying that it is green on the inside, too. He can bend some of the branches down. Okay. Everything looks okay there, but uh, it's about four feet tall. He planted it back about the 1st of April this year. Okay. And What's I, going on? Well, in that we don't know whether it was a bare root or bald and burlap plant. I'm going to guess it was bald and burlap or containerized because that's the way most dogwoods are handled. Now... Uh, depends on where that plant was stored over winter. There are some chemistry things that we're not going to get into too deeply. But every once in a while, something happens in winter storage, chemically, in the air, that stops a plant from uh, opening bud. And and there's lots of stories on this, but what it boils down to is this is a delay. It's not a kill. And I would say it's highly unusual to be into this time of year still facing this problem, but it's still possible. I'm going to recommend, since this is only a four-footer, that he put four stakes in the ground, and drop a great big garbage bag over it, right down over the top of the whole plant. It'll be dark. That's fine, because we're only talking two or three days here. It will be coming either to the ground or very darn close to the ground. I want him to wet the soil under the plant. Um, since it's okay to water heavily, and we're going to do this all in a three-day period, have him, or I'm going to suggest that he would water heavily. Now, hopefully then the evaporation, et cetera, during the day, it would fill this bag inside with a high vapor content. Bad for diseases, but now we're trying to get the buds to break. And it's going to be what I simply call sweating a plant. Um, again, a lot of details in the nursery world on this, but it boils down to trying to not cook the plant. And, and if it comes a real hot, sunny day, and this happens to be in the sun, which is not good for dogwoods anyhow, he may need to take the bag loose during the heat of that afternoon, put it back on by, oh, after dinner and go overnight and then up till maybe the hot part of the day to the next day and and literally cause the humidity to build up around this plant to about as high as possible. Um, not, not literally cooking it, and that's why he may have to take it off. But doing that for two or three days may cause these buds to swell and open and his dogwood could come on along. Now, it's pretty late in the year. It's worth a try. Uh, otherwise, it's a matter of what color do you want to buy for the next plant. <laughs> it's right. About what it <laughs> but when he's talking about it being limber, being green inside, I'm inclined to think it's one of these bud retardation types of things, more than death itself, and worthy of a try. So uh, you can't do that with a big tree, but for a little tree, let's have him try that one time. Do dogwoods like acidic soil? Yes. Dogwoods absolutely mandate acidic soil. Now, that is the common dogwood, the one he's talking about. The Coosa dogwood has just recently flowered, and the, the well, we've talked in the very early spring about the Cornelian cherry dogwood, and then lots of the shrub forms of dogwood do not mandate acid soil. But the common, beautiful, big, white-flowered, pink-flowered, and red-flowered types that you find in nature and or at the garden centers are absolutely a mandate of acid soil and exceedingly well-drained in good high organic. Without that, you might as well buy a different kind of plant. Hey, thanks again for listening to our podcast. Be sure to subscribe to our other podcasts as well, the Plant of the Week podcast and the Plant Talk Radio podcast, all on iTunes or your favorite podcast player. If you'd like to sponsor a daily podcast, contact us at fred at planttalkradio.com. To find out more about Fred Hauer and Plant Talk Radio, visit our website, planttalkradio.com. This is Michelle Wilson, host of the Business Inspires podcast from the Tri-Village Chamber Partnership. To run a successful business, you need resources, valuable connections, and community recognition. In each episode of the Business Inspires podcast, we talk with small business community leaders who will inspire you to create the business you are envisioning. The Business Inspires podcast is on Apple Podcasts, Stitcher, Google Play, YouTube, your Alexa device, and your favorite podcast player. Circle270media.com.